Uh, welcome to uh, Major Seniors Trusses Over Ceiling Joist Videos. Timer started. I, I just have a house here, and I've uh, I built a, uh, <clears throat> automatic roof framing. But of course, once I put in my trusses, uh, I'm going to get rid of the roof framing, right? Once you rebuild, so I, I come over here, and I'm going to build, uh, copy these trusses all the way across here. It's another one of those days. Copy the trusses across like this, piece of cake. Done it a thousand times. There we go. And now I have trusses and uh, I have trusses and ceiling joists in there, right? So I mean, uh, roof rafters, trusses, and ceiling joists. Hit F12, and it gets rid of the ceiling joists and the roof trusses. Okay, perfect. Everything's good to go. But really, what I want to do is I want to have a ceiling uh, ceiling joist over this. I want to have leave ceiling joists and put the trusses on top. So uh, let's take a look at this and see what's going to happen. Framing roof, roof truss, uh, wall, floor, and uh, I guess a framing ceiling. Okay, perfect. So everything's everything's on. Uh, I, I think we all understand that. Let's go ahead and just for the fun of it, let's get rid of uh, let's get rid of the soffit. New and uh, options, no soffit. Perfect. But I want to, I want to, I want ceiling joists underneath these trusses, right? You, what, what kind of uh, ceiling joists do I have right now? Five and a half. So actually, I want the ceiling joists because I want a two by four top plate on top. I want to drop the ceiling down five, uh, five and a half plus six, seven inches. So now I'm going to go in here, and this is the default ceiling height. But I'm going to go in here and change the ceiling height to 102, and let's just see what happens. It's too easy. Too freaking easy. I got it right there, don't I? I got my ceiling joists. I got my trusses on top. I got a two by four plate across there. Uh, now, in my mind, what the problem is with this is I've got two top plates, and of course, we don't have a top plate. If anything, I wouldn't want that to be a block, and the show is a block. It's showing as a continuous plate, but I really would want it to show as a block, but Cheap doesn't do that yet. So now the question is, and, and I, I did that manually. Can I do that automatically? Uh, well, let's just check it out, and let's see. Let's go up to this level here, and uh, there they are. There's my, uh, now these are attic walls right now, right? And now let's just, for the fun of it, see what happens if, if I change one of these, now you got my, you know, see where my cross section is. Well, let's just see if I could do this. You, can I change this wall? How would I do this? Well, I know what I would do. I would, uh, you, structure, retain wall framing. Now I would come over into here, and I would delete that plate right there. And that's really the way I'm, I want it to be built. Uh, now, this, this is a little bit of a glitch right here. See, this drywall goes all the way up to the ceiling. In fact, it goes even past the ceiling. Uh, uh, minor, minor, minor. I'm not going to be. But now I really want some blocking in here, don't I? So let's see if I can put some uh, joist blocking right across here. Let's see what I get. No appropriate platform was found. I have to go down a level, you nitwit. Now, no. There it is right there. And what size blocking is that? Can I change the size of the blocking? You. It's, it's Of course I can. 3.5. Uh, I think I'm using 2 by 6 walls because this is Chief's thing. So uh, really, I just want to go 1, 2. Now, let's, I, I should have shown the ceiling framing, framing ceiling, framing ceiling, framing ceiling. Let's see what that framing ceiling looks like. Oh, there, it, it's all in line. It's not even staggered. It's not even staggered. I'm not sure why it's. I put uh, blocking in there, didn't I? 
So let's put some more blocking in here. Oh, they're all in line. Uh, why, uh, why is, well, I'd rather I'd be in line, to be quite frank with you. I'd rather it be in line, actually. So I don't know what I'm even dinking around with it for. A U, 3.5, change it to 3.5. Done. It's all good. Let's see where that block goes. Because, because, cancel. Because, I don't even see it. Oh, because I had my section cut too far back. Pull it back like this. There we go. Now I got my block. And I got my blocking. Now I wish Chief would show this blocking as a single line. We all know that. But that's a uh, jeez. Boy, did I overthink this son of a gun. Um, how about if hit, if I hit F12? F12. Let's see what happens. Everything's still hunky dory. That that's really neat. See, okay. Now, we understand that this is an attic wall over here, right? Now, suppose I make the one on the other side. Suppose I make this one on the other side, not an attic wall. And so if I go up a level, let's just take a look at this. This is an attic wall right now, right? So the question is, what happens if I, if I don't make it an attic wall? Nothing. Sometimes these attic walls, uh, oh, there is a bit of a difference. There is a bit of a difference. Did I just see some? Oh, um, yeah, there's a little bit of a difference here in that the, uh, in that the stud Uh, let, let's back up a second. Hang on a second. Let's back up a second. Now, this is an attic wall, right? U, uh, wall type, siding 6, define, copy, siding 6, attic, A-T-T-I-C, because with an attic wall, we don't need the drywall on, the set, uh, on this side, right? Okay. Son of a... Check that out. Check that out. The drywall came down to the ceiling joist because I don't have I don't have drywall on that side. Oh, I make this a make this a, a, a U. Uh, now I I think this might have caused another problem. Uh, oh, that's the one I didn't make an attic. Wait, what kind of wall is this? U. Uh, wall type. Siding 6 attic. Siding 6 attic. Okay, now let's see what happens over here. Uh, what happened? The drywall, this, you know, this makes so much sense. I don't know. Of course, it's got to be an attic. I don't have drywall on it. So the drywall stops here. Um, uh, this is the... Okay. Oh, I, I know. Okay. I, I know the problem with this. See this? See what happens right here? You get this mess right here because this wall and this wall is defined differently. So if we were to take a look at this, let's take a look at it. Yep. See, you get this, this funny stuff right here. So when you have those walls up there, they all need to be attic walls or all need to be not attic walls. See how clean it is on this side right over here? Remember I defined I defined I defined this as a normal wall. Why did I def I think I defined that as a normal wall. This is a normal wall, you general. Yeah, it's 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 a, it's not a, it's not defined as an attic wall is my point. So if I take these this wall here, you and don't make it an attic wall, you're going to see that that cleaned up right there. But I got the mess over here. So again, you just got to make make sure these are all uh, normal walls. And why am I making them normal walls? Uh, I forgot. F6. Uh, I made them normal walls because why? Uh, 
uh, timer done. That's it. Uh, it has to do with sometimes um, uh, how the bottom of an attic wall frames, and you got to think about how you want it to frame. I don't think an attic wall has a sill plate. A normal wall will have a sill plate. That's the difference. But this is a very unique situation in that it's just like a little cripple wall or a blocking wall or something on top. Um, see, I can I, I see my double plate on that side because I, I, I didn't retain the wall framing. Now, over here, look at this. This is really kind of cool uh, on, on this side, on the other side here. Because th remember, this is the wall that I retained the wall framing. I retained the wall framing over here and got rid of the other sill plate, uh, the bottom top plate, because that's probably how they're going to build it, I think. Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, and this is built correctly, isn't it, right here? I think that's built correctly. Oh, I, I need to put a block in here, don't I? Uh, that's the end of part one. End of part one. This is that major senior's uh, trust over ceiling joist video. And uh, thanks to Andy for this. He certainly simplified it for me. I got too carried away to overthought it.